Hello my YouTube friend Bob Comics here and in today's video we're gonna open up this giant pile of packages. All right let's get to it. All right this is a box of really cool comic books I bought from Alex the Comic Hoarder. I paid $627 for the comics inside so let's open it up and see what's inside. This is a super fun stack of comics to me. I love buying from Alex the Comic Hoarder's claim sales because he'll sometimes sell amazing golden age books for a great price. So for 30 bucks we got a Super Comics number 71. Really fun, I think, Dick, yeah, Dick Tracy cover. Love that. 30 bucks is a great price for a mid-grade. Uh, oh, let's scooch this over just a little bit. Ginger number five for 42. It's so hard to find copies of Ginger. And this one's in pretty good shape. Yeah, three, five. You know, it has some wear on the spine, but there's no major damage to it. So I'm actually really happy to get that. I've been trying to find issues of Ginger, but they're either like two O's for $100 or like non-existent. Or $5 billion for a higher grade. All right, we have Jughead number nine for 20 bucks. That's super cool. Not bad. 3-5 condition. You know, it has some problems, but it's not terrible. Uh, we have an LB Cold cover here. So we have Foremost number, or Volume 7 number six for 50 bucks. That's cool. I don't have a ton of LB Cold stuff. So I'm actually thrilled to add one to my collection. And uh, we have Lorna the Jungle Girl number nine. This one was 30 bucks. It's a 2.5 because it has some like major damage right there. But it's not terrible. Really like that one. That one is awesome. Uh, oh, this one's beautiful. For 20 bucks, we got Wilbur number 55. He has that as a 5.0, so a mid grade copy. That's awesome to get. Uh, Katie Keene is in all the Wilbur issues, so I'm trying to get a full run of these. Uh, it's kind of hard to find them for a decent price, though. And then we have, uh, for $60, we have Feature Comics. Uh, what is it? Number 74? Man, that's a cool-looking comic book. We got Dollman cover. Absolutely love that one. That one is fantastic. Uh, for 50 bucks, we have White Rider and Super Horse, number 5. This one was 50 bucks. The cover art, just the coloring and the production, this is a gorgeous cover. Absolutely love that one. All right, this one was a little bit lower grade that I'm normally trying to get for Wilbur's at a 3.5. I'm trying to aim for like a 5.0 to complete my run. But for $10, and some of the ones in the 80s are actually really, like the higher numbers are hard to get. So, you know what, for $10, why not? That was actually a really good price on that. Oh, I love this cover. Okay, so we have Jungle Gym number 13, a beautiful underwater cover. Absolutely love this cover. Uh, condition is pretty decent at a 5.5. And this one was 50 bucks. I think that was an amazing deal on that one. And then we have a gorgeous Jumbo comic. Number, uh, was it number 60 for 100 bucks? And uh, we have 4-0. Now, it's a bit grayed there, but like the main image is actually really clean. And that's why I decided to get that one. That's an awesome comic book. Really happy with that. And then, uh, let's see, we got... Gangsters Can't Win, Volume 1, Number 3. That cover is gorgeous. I love that cover. Uh, she looks really pretty. I like all the details in the car. The gangsters look rough. And just like all the little details. That was a great book. $150 for that mid-grade copy. That was an awesome comic book. All right, so yeah. So that's everything I got from Alex. A lot of amazing Golden Age comic books. I would love to buy a lot more of this kind of stuff. Because it's it's fun to me. It's new. It's different. It's something that I don't get that often. So whenever I can get a bunch of really awesome Golden Age books for a decent price, I am thrilled. Man, I love this one, though. That one is amazing. All right. Awesome comic books. Really happy with that. So thank you so much for the great deal, Alex. I really appreciate you. All right. This is a box of comic books I bought from my friend Kyle. I paid about $600 for all of them. And uh, there's one other comic book I believe I paid $60 for. All right, let's open up this box and see what's inside. The first comic I bought was Creatures on the Loose, number 10. This one is signed by Bernie Wrightson. I thought that was super duper cool. Someone brought it into my shop looking to sell it, and uh, I wasn't available, so my wife called me up. I, I think we ended up paying $60. The only thing I didn't know when I was offering it is that that corner of the case is cracked. So it needs a replacement case. So that kind of makes it so I pay like $80, honestly, if I ever get it fixed. I might not send it in. I don't know. As is, though, I think it's super cool. I love, you know, Bronze Age horror type stuff. And Bernie Wrightson's signature. I thought that was a super cool book. I'm really happy to have that in the collection. Okay, and then I got a whole bunch of books from my friend Kyle. 
he needed some cash, so he gave me some good prices. So the next comic I bought was Jungle Action number six in a 90 for $375. Great price on this. Uh, I did promise my friend Sean that he could buy it for the price I paid. So it might go to Sean, but I, I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to try to convince Sean to trade me his 8 0 so, plus some cash for the difference in value. But I think he kind of wants to collect them all in every grade. <laughs> so I, uh, I might have to get another one. I don't know if I can get another one for that grade of a price, though. Okay, and then the next one, uh, I forget how much I paid for these. This one was maybe like 100 something but it's X-Men 114, so an awesome comic book. But it's signed by John Byrne. That's amazing to me. I mean, how often do you get a signed John Byrne book? So that's super cool. I love, you know, that era of X-Men are some of my all-time favorite comics. So getting a John Byrne signed comic, even more amazing. Okay, and then next for 125, I bought X-Men 130, first appearance of Dazzler. Uh, this one is a 5-0, and, like, he thought it would be a little bit higher, because there's no major damage on it. But it's, uh, Chris Claremont signed. I mean, that's super amazing to me. So that's super cool. Another amazing X-Men comic book for the comic collection that is signed. And then a, uh, 9-4 Wolverine number two. Absolutely love this book. I love the Wolverine miniseries. That's, like, one of my all-time favorite comics. Oh, scooch that over. So yeah, he gave that to me for a great price for 75 So this is awesome. I added a lot of really cool X-Men books. Books I probably had already, but ones that are signed or really high grade. So really awesome stuff. Happy with that. Back around Christmas, the Comic Mint was having a buy one, get one free slab sale. So I bought four slabs from them for $328.89. So basically I bought one, got one free. Four amazing slabs. I'm really excited to add these to my collection. Let's open up this box. All right, this one was $175, but it's an amazing Demon Days Miracle Number no. One Rose Besh cover with its it's like remarked and autographed. Wow, that is super cool. And $175 felt like a good price for that, but it was buy one get one free. So the free book I got was Batman 108. First appearance of Miracle Molly. It's the Rose Besh cover. And this one's also remarked and signed by her. And uh, just 9-8. Amazing. I just love it. Two different verified, signed, and drawn on Rose Besh covers. Those are amazing. I love those so much. And that was like, with the sale, that was less than $90 each. I cannot believe it. Then the second batch, I bought a Department of Truth number nine, Rose Besh cover. This one is just signed by her, not drawn, just signed. But it was $135 or $134.95. That was an amazing comic book. And then for free, I bought a step-by-step -step number one, Lee and Hook cover signed by Lee and Hook. That cover is gorgeous. I just love the way the, the young person is in the big robot hand looks so freaking cool and just the signature is like perfect because it's a virgin variant like the signature just fits right there love it so these were was that 50 35 17 so like 67 dollars each average wow what a great deal i cannot wait to buy from them again i think they did the sale around black friday so if they do it again this year i'm hoping to buy a lot more because these were amazing deals such really awesome comic books too Okay, this is a lot of two comic books I bought on eBay. I paid $78.73. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, these were just under $40 each and both in relatively decent mid-grade condition. So we have Katie Key, number 54. Another one off my list. I am down to 10 regular issues and maybe five or six of the other issues in the other series that I need. And then we have uh, Katie Keen Pinup Parade, number 8. This one I don't see as often. I see a couple little marks on it, but it's not a bad, you know, it's probably like a 4550 condition. Again, just under 40 bucks. So I'm actually really happy with these. It's nice to knock off another two from the want list. And uh, I'm getting closer to completing the collection. I need to try to track down the rest. I think it's going to cost me more to find the last few issues because I, I think the ones I'm having a hard time finding are just rarer because I just, I don't see them. So yeah, I'm really happy with these though. These are beautiful. All right, this is a package from my comic shop. I paid $97.34. Let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, 
Uh, I didn't remember exactly what I ordered, but it looks like I was in a Poison Ivy mood. <laughs> okay, so I think... Uh, yeah, 7E. They called it a very fine plus. I paid $34 for this one. Awesome foil. Uh, Joshua Middleton, I think. Doesn't say, but that's super cool. I love the series. This definitely is a series I want to put together all the different variants because they have so many beautiful, beautiful covers. Number eight. This one was $12. I think this one was a ratio. All right, that's super cool. This one was $10. I think this was also a ratio, like a 1 in 25, possibly. And then we have the regular cover, not the foil cover. This one was $4.99, so cover price. What a beautiful cover. I love that one. Ooh, the really awesome David Nakayama Spawn Mashup one. Love that one. That one I paid uh, $4.99, so cover price. Wow, that one's awesome. Uh, this one I paid $15 for. I believe this was the ratio as well. Man, that cover's gorgeous too. I love it. So awesome. Uh, looks like watercolor, I think. And then this one was $4.99 cover price. Awesome Warren Lau cover. Okay, those are awesome. I definitely need to see what else I need from the series because I love all these Poison Ivy covers. I need the David Akiyama one where it's homage to her first appearance. That one's amazing. That's one I need to track down. All right, awesome comics. Especially the foil. This one is just gorgeous. Such a fun comic. All right, I love these. Amazing. All right, this is an eBay purchase. I paid $25.49, so let's open it up and see what's inside. This is a book I really, really wanted. We have a Peach Pomoko Red Room 1 in 25 variant. Awesome horror cover. I think this is one of my favorite Peach Pomoko covers, and that's saying a lot because I love all their covers. $25, I had to get it. Amazing book. Ooh, that's a ton of fun. Any day I can open up a giant pile of packages this is a great day. I could put another mega epic comic haul right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.